First, find the HCF of the following numbers. So we have to find the HCF from A to J. The first one is 18 and 48. So we will write 18 and 48. First, we will do for the 18. 2 9 is 18. 3 3 is 9. 3 1 is 3. So this first prime factorization of 18. Similarly, we will do for 48. 2 2 is 4. 2 4 is 8. 12 is 24, 2 6 is 12, 2 3 is 6, and 3 1 is 3. So this is the prime factorization. Now we will write factors that is 2 3 3 and 2 2 2 2 3 4 48. Now the common amongst them is 2 only here. And 3 as well. So HCF would be product of 2 and 3, the product of common factors. So 6 is HCF, B part for 30 and 42. First, we will do for 30. 2 15 is a 30. 3 5 is a 15. 5 and the 5, now for 42, 2 to the 4, 2 1 the 2, 3 7 the 21, and 7 1 the 7. Again, writing the factors, the common among them is 2 and 3. Therefore, the SCF would be 2 into 3 is 6. That was your B part. C, 18 and 60. We'll write 18 and 60 on the other side. 2 9 is 18. 3 3 is 9. 3 1 is 3. 2 3 is a 6, that is 30. 2 15 is a 30. 2 5 is a 15. 5 1 is a 5. So the prime factors are these. Now we will arrange. Here 2 and 3 are the common factors of 18 and 60. So again 2 into 3 would give you 6 as the HCF of 18 and 60. That was your C part. D, 27 and 63. 3 9 is a 27. 3 3 is a 9. 3 1 is a 3. And for 63, it will divide it by 3. 3 2 is a 6. 3 1 is a 3. 3 7 is a 21. 7 1 is a 7. Again, doing the same thing. Here we have two common factors, 3 and 3. So we will pair them, and the HCF would be 3 into 3 is 9. That was for D part. E 36 and 84. 2. 1 is a 2, 2 is a 16, 2 9 is a 18, 3 3 is a 9, and 3 1 is a 3. For 84, 2 4 is a 8, and 2 2 is a 4, 2 2 is a 4, 2 1 is a 2, 3 7 is a 21, 7 1 is a 7. For 36, we have 2 2, 3 3 and for 84 we have 2 2 3 7 so here we have three common factors namely 2 we will pair it it is not 1 it is 2 and 2 again and at the last 3 so it would be 3 to the 6 6 to the 12 so 12 is the HCF of 36 and 84 for the part E
F, 34, and 102. Prime factors are 2, 1 is a 2, 2 sevens are 14, that is 17, 2 is a 34, and 17 is a prime number, therefore it will go with 1. For 102, it is divided by 2, 2 5 is a 10, into 1 is a 2, 51 is a factor of 17, so 3 17 is a 51. And 17 1 is a 17. Here we have two common factors namely 2 and 17 so we will pair them up and 17 2 is a 34 so this was your HCF. Now we have three numbers 70, 105 and 175. 70 goes 35 into 2 gives you 70 and 5 7 is a 35. And 7 1 is 7. For 105, we'll divide first by 3 because 5 1 is 6, it is divisible by 3. 35 3s are 105. 5 7 is 35, and again 7 1 is 7. Now for 175, We will divide it by 5. 5 3 is a 15. 2 5 5 5 is a 25. 5 7 is a 35. And 7 1 is a 7. So these are the factors in JCF could be. We will pair. So 5 and 7 are clearly visible. So we will pair them up. So the LCF is 5 7 is a 35. Now H part 91, 112 and 49. 91 is 7 into 13 and then 13 1 is a 13 since it is a prime number. For 105, 3 3 is a 9, 3 5 is a 15 and 5 7 is a 35, 7 1 is a 7. And then 49. 7 1 is 7. Here, only 7 is common amongst 3 numbers. So, HC would be 7. This is how we pair it by underlining it. So, that was your H part. I, 18, 54, and 81. So we'll write them up. Now we will prime factorize 18. 3 6 are 18. 3 2 is a 6 and 2 1 is a 2. For 54, 2 2 is a 4, 2 7 is a 14, that is 27 twice are 54. 3 9 is a 27, 3 3 is a 9, and 3 1 is a 3. Three. Is a 6, 3 7 is a 21, 3 9 is a 27, 3 3 is a 9, and 3 1 is a 3. Now we will pair them up. 3 is clearly visible here. 1 pair, and we can also make another pair. So the HC would be 3 into 3. 2 is not in 81. So we can't take 2. So the HC would be 9. Last part. That is 12, 45 and 75. So 12, 45 and 75. So 2, 6 is a 12. 2, 3 is a 6 and 3, 1 is a 3. 45, 3 1 is a 3, 3 5 is a 15, and 3 5 is a 15, 5 1 is a 5. Here yeah, 25 3 is 5 5 is a 25, 5 1 is a 5. 
So here, the common factors are we can't take two, we can take three only once. So three is the HCF, and it was your J part. So this is how you find HCF by taking common factors. Second, what is the HCF of two consecutive? So number first we'll have to find numbers and two consecutive even numbers and two consecutive odd numbers. First one is let's take okay let's assume two consecutive numbers two and three since they are co-prime because they have only common factor one so we write they are Co prime numbers, therefore, HCF would be 1. Since we are asked for consecutive numbers, so this was your A part. Similarly, we can take another instance or another example to prove the same thing. Let's take 5 and 6. Here again, they are co prime. They are co prime, therefore, always will have HCF as 1 equal to 1. B part even numbers. Here we will take example like 2 and 4. These are consecutive. We'll take two prime factorizations of first we'll take two, then we'll take four. Two is nothing but two ones are two, and four is two twos are four, and two ones are two. So here when we write prime factors and we pair it for 4 will be 2 into 2 only 2 is common so it will always come out for the consecutive even numbers it be true for all consecutive even numbers now if we take odd numbers let's assume let's take 3 and 5 when we prime factorize it, so they turn out to be 3 ones are 3, 5 ones are 5, so they turn out to be co prime. And also, we have learned it from previous exercises that all co primes have HCF equal to 1. So we will write HCF equals 1. So this was your second part. Third, HCF of co prime numbers 4 and 15 was found as follows by factorization. Since there is no common prime factor, so HCF of 4 and 15 is 0. Is the answer correct? If not, what is the correct HCF? So here, what we have is HCF is never zero that we have learned in this exercise itself. So what we can say here is that HCF is one. Since the number 4 and 15 are co prime because they have only common factor as 1 because 4 has 2 into 2 and 15 has 3 into 5. So only common is 1, which we don't write usually. It is understood. So this was your question third.